Monica and Eli Valdez have been sweethearts for 27 years. It just feels like your other limb <laughs> when you're with somebody that long. They owe their 28th year together to Starbucks and this woman, Katherine Perlman. So I was doing a favor for a friend and I was out of my normal neighborhood. I stopped at Starbucks, got myself a drink. It was there she came across an unusual plea. I was waiting to like put my milk and sugar in and I see there's a flyer and it's a man in front of Angel Stadium and it's a woman saying that her love for 27 years needs a kidney. What came next was an extraordinary response. And there was just something about that flyer that like, that's gonna be right. Um, it just felt like so vulnerable. Monica and Eli had been waiting for this break for nearly five years. At age 40, Eli was diagnosed with kidney disease and he was headed toward complete kidney failure, a diagnosis he was slow to accept. Denial. Denial, denial. I was not in denial. I was very, very clear where we were headed and I knew what it meant. So Monica started a social media crusade in search of a kidney donor after testing ruled out that neither she nor Eli's family were able to be a match. I was like, oh no, this is it. The average wait for a kidney transplant is three to five years, but because of Eli's blood type, he was looking at eight to 12 years. I couldn't even think that far out, but I knew that if I did after everything that we've been through together, I, I just, it couldn't happen. It couldn't happen. We needed to make something work. So Monica made flyers and started a ground campaign. Just decided I'm gonna drive to every Starbucks that my car will drive me to. And if they have a bulletin board, I will ask them if I can post it, and they did. Then in January of this year, Catherine walked into a Starbucks and decided to save a life. It could tell just even from the few words that he was loved. Like, this was a person who mattered to somebody else. And if I can help him, then that's what I should do. Catherine went to get tested, and she was an exact match for Eli's blood type. Next, she had to share the news with her husband, Jeff. We were just folding laundry, and there's no, like, good way to say, hey, I was thinking about giving my kidney. So I literally just said, hey, what do you think about the idea if I donated my kidney to someone? And he goes, like, theoretically? And I'm like, no, no, there was this guy, and I told him about the flyer. It was surprising as far as she's giving a kidney, but it wasn't surprising, this need to sort of give and help and to feel empathy towards someone. It's very sort of much in character with her. Through the process, Catherine and Monica emailed, but the couples didn't meet until moments before the surgery. And as we walked away, we both felt very teary. Like, there was just something about that moment that was just so profound. Hours later, Catherine's kidney was living in Eli's body. I was so happy. And I was in my mind thinking, see Eli, see, <laughs> it worked, it worked. Two months after the surgery, the couples are now seeing each other again for the first time, bonded forever by the gift of life. It felt like there was something we did together. It wasn't something I did, it was something we t actively did together and it was amazing, you know? Yeah, it was. I just couldn't believe she did it. She made me feel like What words can you say? What thank you is not enough. Thank you is never going to be enough.